Children of the Fog. Something wicked this way comes, and it's me, Old Man Bronze. It's time to play some Santa Clown. A Merry Christmas to one and all. Happy Holidays to everybody. Much love from the Old Man. Big map. Tiny Santa. Let's go. Run that way. Hello! Hello, my little holiday sprite. <laughs> Missed him. <laughs> um, I have. We'll get rid of that. That's a super strong pallet, obviously. Uh, we're gonna take a moment to refill and make our way back. Someone's already back on this gen. Kind of feeling coordination from this team already. Uh, Claude dead. I am running Redhead's pinky finger. Um. She was good enough not to drop that. Someone else is back here as well. Okay, so we'll get that. We'll get Surge on that gen. Oh, uh, no, we don't have... Yeah, we do have Surge. What am I talking about? Boom. Uh, they did find Undying immediately. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but that is the nature of the game. A little bit of randomness. Went inside. We're going to follow her out and keep going. Don't know if I necessarily want this chase, but we'll take it. Nah, we're done. I uh, don't need to piss around with the shack right now. Want to stay on gens? Oh, that was unfortunate. That's a pretty good gen for them to get, honestly. They are still down here. I don't want to waste too much time, but they could have gone around in the back, right? So I got some shards of stuff there. I'm guessing this gen is where they're working. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Kinda wanna get this gal around somewhere where Okay. So there, there's a redhead pinky finger. I'll uh, be able to get her on a hook as well real quick. Okay. We pull our bottles. Uh, this could be tough, honestly. Uh, we've got a couple downs, but that's about it. Uh, not much else. That one's dead. That's good. Heading back out. That corner. If I can hang on to a 3 gen, I want to. That one's dead too. That's delicious for me. Okay. Um, and that's gonna take her down too. So that was a super nice shot. Uh, super lucky. Um, but uh, this is the basement. We will take the time to stick her in. Cause it's right here. Like it's still, even though it takes a little extra time to get to the basement, uh, that puts a little extra pressure on the team, even though I'm not going to really play this. Um, you know, like, try to defend it. We are going to do our best to catch up on the gens that are around here. I've uh, got one over here. Nothing. Beautiful. They are going to be pressing the gens. Yeah, that they're, they're there. Like, we're down to two gens already. Um... These guys are not messing around. Came around the other side. Drop downstairs. This is unfortunate. Um, that we've lost track for. We do need to pressure. That gen is not on. That's great. We knew she was down there, but that actually is a pretty, um, 
Yeah, they absolutely healed up down here. Okay. few of them over here but I have no idea where she went like her tracks just stopped but she's injured once again I do believe that we do have a group here but uh, we're gonna do our best That's her second hook. Just able to get that in with the tip at the end. Uh, we super, super need that. Uh, we are going to get regression on that gen, but we are down to two gens. One more gen, and we are in deep trouble. Um, all of our gens are super, super far away from us, and they are playing fairly coordinated. Um, did I see someone there? I thought I did. Nope. Where did you go, little gal? Okay. Alright, that's super good. Uh, really, really, I don't think this is her third hook. Um, but maybe. I'm super lucky it is. Nope, not at all. Uh, they're double teaming that gen to get one. This game is probably pretty close to over. I can't get there in time. And camping her out is not going to make a difference, right? That one is done, and now that one's going to be done, and then that's going to be the game. Unfortunately. Oh! Uh, we're going to slow her down, and that's really what matters. Okay. Um, I don't know, she could have DS, but that last gen's gonna go. Uh, and that will be the end of the game. Like, there's two gens going. And nothing I can do to stop it. That one's real close to being done, and we got two people over there. God. Like, it's just that once you get to this point in the game, like, if you have not stopped them, you're not going to. Uh, especially in a map this large with this much spread on the gens. Looking for the other person. There's the other person. Cloud Edge just run past there. Uh, slowed her down, but I'm out of bottles. Okay. That last gen's gonna go. I kinda gotta commit to this. Unfortunately, I have to reload as well. So that will be the game. Uh, we'll see if we can get two more people. Maybe one more person? I'm not sure. At least she's running in that direction. And that's that's it. So we'll work on the Claudette here. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, we're going to pop her in the base, and we might be able to convert some more off of that, but uh, big map, uh, decent pressure. They split pressure well on this game, and that's kind of what we got to do with it. Uh, second hook. We got a couple downs with Redhead's Pinky Finger. Um, we didn't try to over try it. I mean, we still were successful uh, with what we were attempting to do. Uh, doors are pretty spaced out. They're probably going to be over there. Um, but we will, I don't know, like we'll secure the second, but unfortunately I don't think it's going to help us all that much, but they played a good game. Uh, nothing I can complain about there. Uh, no funny business, no hanky panky, uh, just good, uh, splitting of the gens and pressure, uh, was not as good as it could be. Okay. 
Okay, so you got borrow. And uh, we'll just follow up on that. Break that. Turn this way. Oh, I might have completely lost her there. No, in fact, I did not. Um, so we're gonna fill that back up. Uh, she could have DS, maybe not. Hard to say. And that's the door. So that will probably be about it. We'll just we'll just wait a little bit and see if we can get some interested people to come this way. But chances are, with the door open, that uh, DS is in play, and they're um, hoping for it. So we're gonna do this. And we'll pick her up. Nope. Okay. okay. No real chance of getting the other two. They played. A, they played a good game. Um, uh, I would have preferred not to have just uh, got that gal down at the end, but uh, that is what it is. They did well, and we did not spread enough Christmas cheer this game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, at least we'll get that. That's cool. Are you in here? No, you're not. But they are probably going to stand at the other exit gates um, and wait until I chase them out in true uh, survivory tea baggy fashion. So, no. Yeah. That's one. Uh, but both of them are open, so other person's gone too. Uh, both, well, the one, uh, I don't think I even hooked. So basically they just sat in and uh, sat gens the entire time, which is super smart. The other ones are the people who traded out stuff and uh, traded out the hooks. So it was hard to catch up with them. We're going to be a good game well played because it was. And uh, we will make our way into another game, ladies and gentlemen. But like I've always said, I'm going to post these videos, win, lose, or draw. I am not going to cherry pick my matches. And uh, I want you to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, because that's how we learn, all right? Um, another game of Santa Clown. We are running uh, Surge, Runa Dying, and Surveillance. Uh, nice combos. And then Redhead's Pinky Finger, and then Ether number 10. Moderately uh, increases the slowdown that you get. I think it goes from like 15% slowdown to 20% slowdown. Uh, really should be base kit on the clown, honestly, and then make his add-ons do other neat things like with the gas. But he's coming up for a bit of a rework and a bit of a overhaul. So maybe those are things that they are going to going to look at. Uh, in general, like I don't think that the clown, you know, is the worst killer in the game. Like so many people like to uh, throw out there. Uh, the reality is, is there are some tweaks that you can make to his kit. Uh, his reload speed hurts him. Uh, reload speed add-ons are really, really good on him. In fact, I prefer the reload speed add-ons to uh, the extra slowdown because I can just, I can throw bottles. I can throw four bottles in a chase and not worry about it. Like four bottles, get someone down, just spit them out, boom, 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 boom. And uh, if that downs someone, great. I can almost reload within a couple seconds and I am back up and in a chase again or whatever the case may be, or mid-chase. Mid-chase, if you run out of bottles, you are hurting for certain, unless someone's just sitting out a pallet waiting for you to break it. And even then. So I think it's nearly four seconds, four and a half seconds. Um, and that person will be long gone, or at the next jungle gym, or at the next pallet, uh, before you will have another bottle to throw to try to slow them down and stop them. So, I, I mean, if anything, like, his baseline reload could be better um, and not having to be so add-on dependent on those things. And uh, I think, I even think uh, Freddy's blood puddles, the ones that he can spam infinitely, much like the Hag's traps, I believe that they are 20% slowdown and he can use those infinitely, whereas the clowns are a 15% slowdown and he has to reload them at great cost to himself of, of time. It's not like having to run across the map for a locker or hatchets per se, but it, it's still definitely one of those things that affects the amount of pressure he's able to put on the map. 
throw a little boost to his reload, maybe a little more slowdown on the bottles, and, and truly make him anti-loop. And because he kind of is, but he also kind of is not. You know, it's just enough to where, you know, a less experienced survivor is is probably gonna fall. But uh, but good survivors kind of ignore it. I mean, the slowdown they can't ignore, but the confusion, the, uh, the, the fogginess and all that uh, stuff that comes along with the gas, uh, it's it, it's tricky, uh, but if you are experienced survivor, you played against clown, you know a bunch, especially when he came out. Like it's it's kind of old hat, and and being able to avoid those bottles uh, unless they are throwing them well, is pretty easy. You can watch the trajectory and just take a hard right, a hard left, and miss them all together. But here we load in at the ironworks of misery. Let's hope that we can make it as miserable as possible for these survivors, and uh, spread a little Christmas fear. Yes, um, so we can see surveillance is giving us info right away. They spawn in this corner. And there's a Claudette. And there's someone on our totem. And we are going to pretend we didn't see him. And then we're going to come over here. <laughs> so that's a super quick down. That is Redhead's pinky finger all day. Um, and it is an ultra rare add on, mind you. Uh, just so you're aware, it's not really something that you can play constantly. But we do know at least two people started on this end. And we can see them working that gen. We're going to let them know we're here. And there's another quick down. So that's, a ex that's an excellent start for us. We're going to come back here and bring her back here to the same gen. As far away from the gen that she was working on, that's, that's kind of why we were coming back here. But unfortunately, we were not able to stop that. And that's okay. The beauty of Ruin and Dying is that you don't necessarily have to guard your totems all the time. I swore I heard somebody, but apparently I did not. So we've got regression going on that gen. That is fantastic. So we do need to get into the field of play and find out where else they are. Uh, just sitting around and waiting for someone to come unhook that gal is unrealistic. And you will feel pretty bad about it. There's Claudette. That was a terrible throw, by the way. She leave? No. Okay, she's exposed for a few seconds, but not for a ton of them, right? Uh, she just ran for it. We're gonna reload while we have a moment. We missed that opportunity. She's gonna go right out the door, out the window, I mean. She's just hoofing it. And running, and running. I don't know if I hit her, I might have, actually. Nope, I thought I might have gotten a direct contact on her, but I did not. Uh, there's another totem, and that's fine. It means they're wasting time working on that stuff and not on gens, right? <laughs> Gotta break it. That is a gameable pallet, but they it looks feels like they've added an extra bump. Unfortunate. This is disgusting if she gets it. Okay. Slowed her down enough to stop her from doing this. Jeez Louise. Okay, so that was two gens. Boom, boom. Uh, this reminds you how important it is to uh, get in and get done. Right? Uh, get those quick chases. Get them down. And now she's seen my totem as well. Going in the basement. Good God. 
Like, so they have been on top of everything. I do not remember if they brought anything special in. I did not see a map. Uh, they could have a detective's hunch. Uh, they could just know a totem placement on this map pretty well. But nonetheless, that was a couple of quick... A couple quick gens. No one on that one. Uh, they're back in that corner. Most likely, uh, we are playing a coordinated squad. They are on top of these gens, and they know when I'm coming. And uh, now, do I know how many people? No. Okay. Uh, we saw her all the way coming back, and uh, we were able to target her easily get close to her the easiest way is honestly just getting up behind someone and throwing that bottle uh the the clowns bottles are notoriously not great to aim uh they have a little bit of a weird arc to them which is fine uh they're probably gonna go up there and there is someone Running right by that totem. This is not a great place to chase, by the way. You do not really want this, but I really wanted to make sure that I'm giving this person the attention they deserve because they know where my totem is, right? Gonna go back. Okay. And there is that. Uh, this is closer for me. So we're going to hop right in there and put her on a hook. Uh, we're not doing badly here. Okay, that's our first person gone, and we still have three gens left. We got we got at least someone working on that one. And we're going to try our best to get over there. We know that one's being worked on as well, so this could very easily just be one gen left. So we needed to get a person out, and we were able to. They have popped off that thanks to surveillance letting me know. Someone has just run back here. It's the Kate. Like, honestly, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, hide better. Um, and someone's over there. Does she have DS? Maybe. Uh, doesn't necessarily matter. She is done and out of the game. Okay. And we do know that there are people over there working on that gen because it went yellow quickly and then went to uh, red. It'll go yellow for, I don't know, is it 8 seconds? 12 seconds? I don't remember. And that tells me that they popped off it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put her on a hook as well. I don't know if she's dead or not. Once again, we're not going to really worry about uh, sweating or slugging for the 4K because it's Christmas! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, someone's down there. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's her first suck. So someone was... Right. No. Unfortunate. But that's uh, more points for everybody, right? Probably use deception. Uh, if this is the Kate, I don't necessarily want this, Jace. I think it might be. Oh. Um, like, I don't know. We'll look for the other person. Now we know they're on the gen. Not much else to do there. Like, I was hoping that that was the Claudette, but it wasn't Claudette. So we're going to go this way. So that's what she did. She dropped that. We're going to get that out of the way now. We know she didn't go any further. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, I was just baiting, baiting the head on because I am not worried about it. Okay. Uh, we got some nice delay off that. We've got two bottles to throw at her. Now, here's a point where, this is an important point. I do have a lot of time, right? I can just reload these bottles right here. And we can go after her. 
surprised that no that did hit her. And that will be about it. So Okay, I don't know where the other gal crawled to and um we're not gonna like hunt her into the ground. But if we find her, we find her, right? Okay. I can kinda hear someone else, but kinda not as well. I can hear something. Oh god, is she on top of the hatch? Um All right, well, we need her to not struggle because we are not close to a hook. So we will take this and we will uh, put it in our entity's bank and we will call it a day, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. That was not a bad game at all. Uh, we were able to put some decent pressure on them. We were able to take advantage of Redhead's pinky finger and we were able to spread some Christmas joy to all the good uh, girls and boys. So, yes. Uh, first game was kind of tough and uh, second game came out better. Uh, and, and really like, unfortunately at the end, we just kept running into the same people and there wasn't much else to do but to just finish it out. They had Brandy Park, um, nothing else too fancy. Not that that will, um, yeah, we'll get out of there, but uh, give them a GG. Well played and uh, wish them a little Christmas cheer with uh, our friend, the clown. So once again, uh, happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to all of you, my friends, and uh, just much love from the old man. We will see you later in the fog.